Hi YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to our channel for our daily devotional reading. This devotional reading is from day 49 and it's called Level Ground. Teach me to do your will for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Song 143.10 Walking before God on the path of righteousness can feel like an impossible task. Just when we begin to feel holy, we succumb to temptation and we fall. We are reminded all at once of our innate humility and overwhelming need for God. We don't immediately know how to do God's will when we get saved. We have to be taught. We don't naturally begin to walk in his ways. We need to be led. The beautiful thing about salvation is that we aren't expected to do any of it on our own. God puts his spirit within us and leads us in righteousness on level ground. The sanctified Christian life is only possible when we completely surrender ourselves to the grace of God, the teaching of Jesus Christ, and the leading of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that you don't expect me to live a righteous life in my own strength. I need your grace and you give it freely. Thank you for teaching me and guiding me every step of the way so I can bring you the glory and the honor you are worthy of. Amen. This is something that I think we all need to read and need to realize that when we turn our life back over to Christ and we give our life to him and we ask God to help guide and lead and protect us, especially the leading part and you know just basically taking back our life and just doing his will and his purpose upon it as is as it was meant to be asking god to renew us in faith asking god to forgive us of our sins when we do that that's when we're asking god to place the holy spirit within us to dwell in us and help lead and guide and change us within but the thing that we a lot of us fail to realize is that we don't change in an instant when the holy spirit enters us we don't we don't change like that change is process change takes time and everybody walk with god and everybody um path with god as in when they ask for ask god for forgiveness and ask god to take a hold of their life and, and and you know and transform it everybody everybody um how can you say it? everybody journey and everybody testimony is different there you go everybody's testimony is different but right here it says we need to be led and taught by god how to do things the way that he wants us to it's not going to happen overnight Everybody's testimony is different, but it's not going to happen overnight. Some things is not going to just fall off and just disappear and go away. We actually have to work towards it. We need to pray and ask God, God, I am having problems with hmm, anger. Show me, Lord God. First, God, take it away from me. Take it away from me. And God, teach me how to release my anger in a better way instead of me yelling and screaming at my family at my friends at myself teach me how to find better outlets better ways to express and release the anger that is within me teach me how to meditate lord god teach me how when i'm upset to probably you know exercising is very good when you're in a, a um Sometimes when you're in a not so good mood, some people use that as an outlet for anger or an outlet for stress. Teach me how to, when I'm upset, to pray about it. Teach me how to pray, Lord God. You know, things that can help make you a better you in God's eyes under God. He has to teach you and show you those things. Ask him. Talk to him just like you're talking to your mother, your brother, your sister. Talk to him. He hears you just as well as they hear you. Sometimes, most of the time better. Because sometimes some people, 
don't listen to everything you say they have receptive hearing they only hear certain things of the conversation they don't hear everything everyone's uniquely different but when you talk to god god hears everything he sees everything and he can help lead you and guide you in every situation every every direction i know there's times that you feel like people fail you god is not going to fail you he's not going to fail you he may not do things as fast as you want him to do but he always do it when it's needed and he does it on his time that's why the value of patience is so important but i love how this says teach me to do your will teach me god to do your will i'm going to read this um passage from psalms again teach me to do your will for you are my god may your good spirit lead me on level ground lead me on level ground God is leading us on where we stand. God is leading us where we are. He's leading us right here on the path. As we take our steps, he's leading and guiding us. We just need to ask the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead us in the right direction. Ask God to renew and make your decisions, not by you, but by him. Make your decisions by Christ. It says, thank you, God, that you don't expect me to live a righteous life. He doesn't expect us to live a righteous life. He just wants us to live a life by him. Love. Thank you, God, that that you don't expect me to live a righteous life in my own strength. He wants us to live a righteous life in his strength. I need your grace and you give it freely. And I'm thankful for that. Thank you for teaching me and guiding me every step of the way so I can bring you the glory and the honor you are worthy of. Right there it says, thank you for teaching me every step of the way. Everything that you do, let God lead you in it. When you do it with God leading, you cannot fail. You may mess up, you may fall down, but you will not fail hope you understand that when God is leading you and you are giving all things to him and leaving it in his care you will not fail you will fall but you will not fail because you will continue getting back up and allowing God to do his work within you when you give your life to Christ and the Holy Spirit enters you ask God To allow the Holy Spirit to lead you the way that he needs you to be led. Lead you by faith. Lead you by his guidance. Lead you by his will. On level ground. That's how he leads us. He leads us on level ground. Right as we walk, he is right there. Just ask God for his help. Ask him for his guidance. Pray for the things that you need to be transformed. Take away that anger. Take away that addiction. Take away of that feeling when you look in the mirror that you don't love yourself. Ask him to transform you. Ask him to lead you. So he can teach you many things that he needs you to know and needs you to see. Don't be afraid to ask him. Remember, We are not meant to be perfect beings. We are not perfect. We live in a fallen world full of sin. We have things happen around us that we don't understand why it's happening. And why things are just transpiring the way they are. We live in a world full of sin, you guys. But in that world full of sin is so much pure, so much goodness, so much beauty, so much peace because once you have God in it you will start seeing the beauty around you and in situations in every bad situation there's beauty in it in every darkness the light will come through so I just pray that you guys ask God 
teach me to do your will. Ask God to teach you to do his will. For you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. May your good spirit, dear Lord, lead us all on level ground. Amen. I pray you have a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you like this video. Please comment down below and subscribe and join our family. Blessings, guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful sunlight peeking through the trees. It's so beautiful. God is so good. God is love. And please, I want you guys to remember that God loves you and you are never alone. No matter what you go through, he is right there. He is right there. Just turn to him and ask him for his guidance and his direction. And most of all, his love. Stay true. Stay blessed. To God be the glory. Amen.